Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Um, so a bunch of people has been trying to figure out staying in my early game. I'll do a short, quick video to try to help some people out on it. So after you do uh, this quest here, the main quest, picking up the slack, you will get a letter from Mr. Owen unlocking the sandfish trap. Now this is gonna do us a lot of good. This is still early game. Come up and right here, you can't buy them yet, but you can gather them sand rice. There's one here, and there's also one over here. I've only found two pods. Um, if anybody else has found any other pods, feel free to leave a comment, help everybody out. But two pods is all I found that spawns every two days. Um, get both pods we'll go up here to this nice little fishing hoe that they finally fixed with the last patch that's what I was waiting on to do this video was for it to be patched and fixed because it was real laggy real sketchy whether it worked or not but they patched it works great so sweet deal I love it I might help if I build the sand trap Didn't say I was the brightest crayon in the box. Let's see what we need. Oh, we got a rope laying right here. Alright. Oh, we got a blue one at that. We'll take that. Run, Forest, run! Right, we're gonna catch us some fish, I hope, anyways. I've been gathering the sand rice every day since the beginning of the game. Um, I advise y'all to do it too. But sand rice will catch these beautiful fish. sure can't touch it yay us but anyways you can also use your worms and catch these other great fish when they come out you're not just limited to one kind so we got us a few here a few there now we want to go see mr owen Out choo choo train, otherwise known as Doom Train. Yes, we love Final Fantasy, we'll, we'll call it Doom Train. It loves glitching. Now, for the regular fish, you're going to need some salt, and for the Sancudas, of course, you need to use more. And we're going to throw these nice little fish up here. Get some Sankuda going. You start out with a drying rack already in your 
inventory. Great, 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 great. great. No proper sticks. We'll just sleep through the rest of the video alone. Greetings, skinny arms. I'm here to inform. We do. These will end in. Well. Yes, I am Mr. Skinny Arms to you, buddy. Okay, let's get our drafts in, Kudus. Seems like one blow away. Um. But here we are with a Sancutus 36 Stanima. Cost you four or five Stanima to catch it, so you're coming out 30 to the great. Now, as far as our other great fish with assault, we'll speed this up. Ah, uh, don't do that. Let's get one of these off the drying rack so we can show you what we have here. If the wind don't blow it away, I love the wind. Oh, drying rack, you're so slow. All right, now for this. is 18 stanima. <clears throat> this will help y'all out early game. Um, you can also gather sand berries on your first day, which will give you five stanima just eating them raw. Or you can put them on a drying rack and they average 20 to 30 stanima after they're dried. Also, every day after you use your stanima up, I would advise everybody, real cheap cost, I mean, it don't give you a lot of stamina, but it helps out early game. Go to the blue moon. And I start this on day one. I have over 200 hours in the game already. Come down, get the, uh, the today's special. 30 stamina a day, it jumps back and forth. You can eat it twice. Sometimes you get 60 stamina, sometimes it's 20 stamina. It all depends, but it's very low cost, very efficient, helps you get a lot of stamina, early game stuff. Um, like I said, if anybody knows where any more pods are, please, please comment, let us know. It would benefit all of us in the community. But um, with that, I'm going to end the video, and thanks everyone.